Hello folks, how are you doing? Jason here. Wanted to check in with you guys, make a video um, about this last week here. It's been kind of a, a, an eye-opening, um, scary, and surreal uh, week for both Steph and I. And um, I first wanted to say thank you to all of you for reaching out to me and Steph. Um, <laughs> she's been doing all she can to manage the the text messages and comments and things while I'm kind of been uh, MIA and um, we both just appreciate you all so so very much so thank you for all of your love and support um, I'm okay obviously first things first I'm here I'm okay um, I'm still ticking everything is everything is fine you know for the most part um, there will be some challenges in the future that you know I'll address and and get to and overcome just like we do with everything but um, you know I just I just want to let you guys know that I'm okay and everything is is fine and um, let you kind of know what happened what what went down uh, on Monday I woke up and um, got up like I normally do a little early and um, proceeded to black out and I fell back on the bed and, and woke Steph up and you know, it's just a really scary, scary thing. You know, you you don't really think about, you know, when you hear things, you're kind of like, oh, you know, you know what, whatever, you know. But when you're actually in, in that moment and things are happening and you don't know what's happening with, you know, uh, a friend or family or loved one, significant other, like you don't know what's going on. It's kind of, it's really scary actually. So, you know, I, I didn't feel right and just started to get lightheaded and dizzy and I lost my hearing and I lost my vision and I just blacked out and um, I kind of came to and Steph was there and trying to get me up and didn't feel right at all and you know there's there's times when you're like oh I can overcome this I'll just hang out you know I'll just relax and then there's times where it's like okay something's not right you know so uh, I I came to and I was like take me to the take me to uh, uh, the hospital something's not right so uh, we did, uh, made it to the car and went to the ER and got admitted in the ER. And um, I was there uh, on the table in the back and they stuck me with an IV and the second they hit me with an IV, I blacked out again. So, you know, they're scrambling and Steph had to witness this now and it's just, it's, you know, super traumatic to see. And you know, she said I went completely pale, absolutely no color in my face whatsoever. And, um, yeah, I mean, as you know, I'm, you know, I've got a red beard here, so <laughs> not having any color is kind of, you know, I'm always have kind of a red complexion as it is, so that probably was pretty scary uh, to see. But um, from there, they, they thought that there was something more going on, thought it was related to my heart, and, um, you know, they just really weren't sure, so they wanted to get me over to a heart hospital as soon as possible. Uh, That's right. Um, Steph's in the other room. She's um, just mentioning that my heart rate went down to 33. So that's really, really low. Um, I would assume that happened the first time I fainted here at the house. But um, anyway, that's, you know, super scary. They were very concerned about that. They typically, you know, you don't see it go that low. Um, so they, they quickly stuck me with another IV and they were starting to do all kinds of things and they obviously after I came to on the second time and I was all I woke up I was wired up there was people everywhere I was super scared I was crying I was nervous you know we all were um, and in that moment I was like I wasn't sure what was going on like I just wasn't sure is my heart giving out is my body giving out what's going on it's extremely scary so I it was crazy. In my head, I said, Steph, get the phone. And I woke up, I said, get the phone. Take a picture of this. I wanted to remember. I was thinking of two things. One, I wanted to look back on this moment and say to myself, if it's me who's fucking up, if there's something that I'm doing to my body, if my body is telling me something, if, if you know, the stars are aligning somehow and there's a perfect storm of sorts of things going on, I want to look back on this and say, I do not want to be in this spot. I want out of here and I want to look at this picture and I want to remind myself of that but I also wanted and I told her to post it I said post it on all of the social media because I wanted to send the message that 
tell someone that you love them. Tell that person, if you're on the fence, if you're, if you haven't talked to someone in a while, if you haven't said something to someone, like right now, reach out, let this be, let, learn from this picture and this message, tell them that they matter, tell them that they care or that you care and just let them know. I think it's so important. Life is so fragile. I can't even, I can't even really comprehend the body and how intricate and complex and complicated it is in there. I mean, there's, there's a million and one things. I mean, just like last two months ago, I found out I had gout as well. And I'm like learning about my foot. There's like a billion muscles and tendons and things in your foot. Like, you know, it's just insane. So it's very, very scary. So that's why I wanted it to be posted. And the, the outreach that you guys have given back to Stephanie and I has been amazing. And so we thank you for that. Just this whole thing has been crazy, and I don't know, sometimes I don't really have, you know, the right words or whatnot for it, so I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and, and let you know that, you know, everything's cool for now. I mean, they they sent me from the ER, I went over to uh, a heart hospital here locally that can specialize in heart because they thought it was heart-related. Um, long story short, come to find out that, <laughs> in fact... I'm healthy. I'm 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 pretty much completely normal and healthy. I mean, yeah, sure I've gained some weight over the last 10 years, but I'm healthy. My heart, my carotid arteries completely free, uh no blockage. Uh, my brain is getting enough oxygen and blood. I mean, at least currently. At the time it wasn't when I uh, when I blacked out, but so everything is is going good. My lungs completely healthy. Uh, my kidneys, my um, my liver, just everything. I, I, I could have swore that that, that 4x4 at four in and out or that 16-ounce steak <laughs> that we had last week would have really done me in. Or they would have been like, uh, Mr. Heen, is it? I think I see a steak sideways lodged in your, uh, uh, your, your arteries. It's definitely in my intestines, that's for sure. Um, but no, joking aside, uh, I was very relieved to hear that. That I'm healthy, um, but also it raises lots of other questions for the doctors. They think it may be related. They may they can't rule out seizure um, activity, so they were monitoring my brain activity, and they want to continue to do that. Um, next week, I'm going in to have um, a three four day experiment, or rather, it's basically to collect data on my brain activity, and they want to try to pinpoint, um, you know, what caused it where it came from because as is now they it's unknown so that's kind of scary in a way you know i i don't have a definite you know and they're talking like they want to put me on you know seizure medicine and all this stuff and i'm just kind of like well if we don't know i don't want to start taking medicine and you know it's just it's just this really tricky uh slippery slope if you will so there's a lot of tests that have to be done still there's a, a lot of unknowns um, it puts an extreme burden on Steph and I. I don't even want to bring up all of the, the uh, all the medical bills that are going to be coming in. Some of which I haven't even seen yet. Uh, I had to go to the other hospital via ambulance. So if you know anything about those expensive and nice rides, that's always fun. So I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm trying not to worry about it. They told me to not stress over it because they do think stress is a big part of what may have contributed to part of this. And so I'm trying to just relax. I'm trying to, you know, it's been a really fucked up 2018 and things have just really stressed me out. And I don't know, I, I, it may have just come to a head and finally, you know, my body was like, all right, I'm going to just, I'm going to just uh, say peace for a little bit here. And, you know, it's hard to say, but so anyway, I'm. I'm going to go in for my test, and um, we're going to continue forward here. I have strict rules, unfortunately. I'm unable to drive right now, which puts a huge burden on my work. Uh, I'm unable to go work. So it's like, um, you know, that's scary right now. And I, I, uh, and it all happens so fast, you know, right? Like, I really uh, didn't want to enter. I didn't really want to meet you guys in my my new space like this. Like I, I'm 
the night before I was up till 3 a.m. Could have also been contributing, not a lot of sleep. Um, I'm redoing the entire room. Uh, I've got my studio. I've been starting to work on recording music. I'm setting up to bring out a new podcast for you guys right here. And it's all here, and uh, this is going to be the spot for the live show. And, you know, I've been working on stuff. I've been putting things together. I want to create. I want to entertain. I always, always have. Always been about that. You guys know that. So, um, I don't know. I don't really have any answers. Um, I'm not looking for any answers. I'm, I'm just wanting to tell you guys that Life is very fragile. Life, one day can be this, the next day it can be that. And you have to let people know when you think about them that you love them and you care for them because, uh, you know, there was this whole week, you know, we were very worried about what was happening and I had several days of not knowing what was going on with me. And, you know, it was very scary for Stephanie and I and we just really had a... a, a a moment where we came together and you know, we're still here and that's the most important thing is that we're here uh, today and that I can even sit here and make this video and talk to you guys directly it means a lot to me it means everything to me so um, I, don't, I don't know I'm not you know if you guys want to send me some messages send me um, you know PMs if there's anything you guys can do to to help uh, support Steph and I in this crazy time, uh, that would be fantastic. And I would appreciate any and all offerings, uh, big, big or small. doesn't matter what it is. Even if it's just a friendly hello, just to let you know that you, you're thinking of me and Steph and we're here and give Bob a little pet on the head, you know, that would be, that would be just fine because your comments really helped. Uh, while I was sitting there in a the hospital bed alone, it's very scary. I don't like it. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. I'm in my 30s. There's no reason to, you know, to be there and be unhealthy. There's no reason to be there, you know, at all. Um, and I just appreciate everything they did. They were wonderful to me. They made sure I was comfortable and warm and had food. And um, I appreciate them so, so much. They're lifesavers. So I just want to let you guys know I'm here and I'm healthy and we're going to continue to move forward and I'm going to uh, continue to try to find answers and I'm going to continue to uh, try to figure out how to live a lifestyle that's going to be different and I'm going to work on my health I'm going to work on eating better even though I'm healthy that doesn't mean I can eat like shit uh, I gave up soda in February or January and I'm going to continue to do that and stop the fast food and I'm going to stop, you know, the, the shitty food and I'm watching my sugar and it's just, it's important. It's really important to me because I want to be here. I want to make sure I'm here for Steph and myself and my friends and my family. So, all right, that's all. That's all. I just want to make a video. You guys, uh, thank you and uh, we'll talk to you later.